In today's video, we're gonna talk about some reasons you might not love Cedar City, so you can decide if you can deal with them or not before choosing to live here. If this is your first time to this channel, we talk about everything there is to know about living in Cedar City, Utah and the surrounding areas. My name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group. If you are looking to buy, sell or invest here in Southern Utah, I would love to help you with that. You can find my information up here in the corner or down below in the description. Please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to help you. So if you have watched my pros and cons video for Cedar City, Utah, some of these might be familiar to you, but I am going to add on to them. I've talked with a few people to see what are some things that bother you about Cedar City that you wish you could change. Well, the first thing is no one's in a hurry. If you're coming from a larger city, I came from Las Vegas and you're used to things moving really pretty quickly and it being a 24 hour town and getting what you need when you need it, then it's a bit of an adjustment. So I wouldn't say necessarily that it's a bad thing. It's just an adjustment. So if you're going through the drive through it's not going to be fast food. It's going to take a little while, but you know, it is a small town and part of the appeal of a small town is that you move here so that you can slow down so that you're not caught in the rat race of a large city. And so that is part of the charm, but it can also be just a little bit frustrating and take some time to get used to. So if that's something that you can't handle, you might not want to live here. Now, another thing that you might not love here is the wind. It's not here all day. What I found is, the mornings are really pretty beautiful. I can go out, I can get a run and start my day, but towards midday, early afternoon, it starts getting pretty windy and then it seems to die off and it's gone for the evening. So the evenings will be really nice. Now, of course, not every day is like that, but that's the pattern that I seem to notice and it can really get annoying, say if I'm out watching my daughter's soccer game or let's say I've gotten ready and I'm heading out and then all of a sudden, all of this is undone. <laughs> it takes a lot to get ready. So again, not here all the time, but can be annoying. Another thing I've noticed that I'm not a huge fan of is the zoning. And here's what I mean by that. You can have a townhome or a duplex go up right in the middle of a single family home development. I'm not really sure why that happens. That's something I want to look into seeing if we can adjust that. But I've gone into some neighborhoods where you have million dollar homes and then right next door to it is a townhome development. That might not be something that you care about, but it can affect the value of your property and bring in more traffic to that area. So that's something to think about when you are moving here, if you decide to live here, is where your home is placed and if it will be affected by townhomes, duplexes, triplex, fourplex, whatever. We wanna check on the zoning for that. It's something that I don't fully understand here. I wanna look into it more and see how we can adjust that. The next thing a few people brought up is the infrastructure, meaning the roadways. With all the migration here to Cedar City, our main street does get pretty busy during the day, especially our most Southern exit on the I-15. We kind of have like a loop-de crisscross there. There. <laughs> if that makes sense, that's probably weird. Anyway, and it can build up in traffic, especially if they have to close down one lane to fix it. Another thing that can be a little frustrating is not a long amount of time on the green arrow left-hand turn. And when that much traffic is coming through, it's hard to get across traffic. So I would like to see that lighting change. Something else to think about. They are looking at fixing the infrastructure for the population that has come in and things are gradually getting better. But until then, be aware of that. The next thing I wanted to know is there's not a lot in the way of competitive sports for youth. There's really not much of it at all. You would have to go south to St. George to get more competition, but even that isn't as competitive as you might find, say, down in Las Vegas or up in Salt Lake City. So if that's something that's important to your family, there's not a lot of that going on here. However, there are some great sport programs. If you're looking for recreational activities for your kids, it's a great way still for them to go out, make friends, learn the sport, and really just enjoy the outdoors. But that leads me to a, another thing that might be frustrating for you here. This was actually one that my daughter brought up. 
She doesn't love that she can't play soccer year round. In Vegas, although hot, she could play year round. Here, once those winter months hit and the snow is coming, then she has a good three or four months where she really can't get out on the field and play soccer and she doesn't love that. So we do have seasonal sports here. Now, if anybody wants to come here and open up an indoor soccer facility, we would love that. That would be great. All right, another thing that might deter you from living here, again, this could go either way if you're looking for that small town feel, slower pace of life, is we have very limited shopping in the way of clothing. There are a few stores here. We have a Ross and a TJ Maxx and a Walmart and a few boutique stores, but really not a lot. You're gonna be shopping online or you're gonna head down to St. George. They do have a small mall there. Really, we go all the way to Las Vegas if we have to do any formal dress type shopping for dances anything like that there's just really not a lot of shopping here but the boutique stores are cute and still worth checking out and you can find a lot of wonderful things in there all right these last two are really kind of nitpicky but my daughter wanted me to bring this up she says there is no frozen yogurt here which apparently is really important to her so if you're somebody that wants to open up a frozen yogurt shop, there's no frozen yogurt here. We have a ton of dirty soda shops, and if you don't know what a dirty soda is, it's basically just soda with additives to it. So for example, I like a Diet Coke with coconut cream and lime put in it, and that's a dirty soda. And we have a lot of places like that here, but she still can't find her frozen yogurt. And then this last one is something that I would like to see happen, which is really kind of weird and may not hit everybody, but... I would love to see a skating rink here. We do have an ice skating rink coming up that is being built out. So that's going to be great for the hockey players. That'll be a lot of fun, but I still would like to see a roller skating rink. Apparently they had one here years ago before I lived here. I would love to go. I'm, well, I won't tell you how old I am, but I love to roller skate. All right, I get it. That's a weird one. That was just me personally. I would like to see that. So if there's anyone out there that wants to move to Cedar City and open up a roller skating rink, I would be fine with that. <laughs> all right, this is sort of a nitpicky list, but I wanted you to know of all the cons or things that might make you not want to live here in Cedar City. To be honest, they're all minimal. I couldn't think of any huge ones that would make me not want to live here. It's so beautiful and I love it. But I thought I'd throw it out there for you to take a look at. If you are looking to buy, sell, or invest here in Southern Utah, I would love it if you would reach out. Once again, my name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group. You can find my information up here in the corner or down below in the description. I promise you I will respond. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day.